I'm not like the most confident person maybe in the world. Like I kind of don't think I'm like all that worthy. But when I'm on the rocks and like performing well and trying really hard, in a way you can like be this like little mini superhero. You can be like badass in your own right, even though you don't feel like it in normal life. Heather claims she's not talented, and I think that's bullshit. So few women have climbed a 514 trader. So few people have climbed a 514 trader. There just aren't that many of them. China doll is the one. Each year I set like a huge goal for myself, something that like might be on the brink of something I might not be able to do. This is one climb that like no one would ever downgrade. It's a little scary and it's hard. He has more confidence in me than I have in myself. Like I never really think I'm gonna be able to like accomplish these enormous huge goals that I put on the table for myself. To climb 514 trad. You need to be physically strong, like 514 is not that big of a deal for you. You need to be mentally strong, willing to take any kind of weird fall that may and will happen, and you need to be psyched. I got the upper section in two parts, which is kind of a big deal for me. I'm psyched. I know it can happen. I just pulled my finger. The rock won. I got beat up today. It's okay. It's worth it. <laughs> Chris and I were talking one night trying to think of our big climbing goals for the year because he's really good about recommending routes for me. Originally, China Doll was an aid route that went to the top of the cliff that's about 300 feet tall. And then in the 90s, it became a 100 foot 13C sport route. In 2006, Mike Patz did the entire route from the ground in one pitch. He rated it 14A, all on gear. How is it? <laughs> Desperate. <laughs> Since 2006, every year, a couple guys have done China at all, but no woman has done it yet. It would be like the first in a grade and probably the last 514 trad climb I'll be able to do. My main goal for today is just to do the moves on the whole upper part. Then I can like really start working on the gear. The gear room, it's like his territory. Don't mess with it. It's only like, you know, 15% of the house. He's got the rest. <laughs> <sighs> People might look at Heather and me and say, they're just another climbing relationship. And that's fine. I remember the moment I first met Heather, I was watching her red point, her first 13 and rifle, and I was like, damn, I need to go like, see who this is because she was hot and i just thought he was kind of this like lurker it's like who is this guy taking it in class. Really taking it. she was smiley and it's like oh hey thanks so much yay i really didn't think much of chris i hadn't hung out with him much but that moment stuck with me two years later he came out to las vegas she seemed to recognize me as well which i thought was like surprising I'd been in a number of relationships where I like to describe it as a three out of a five relationship. I'd rather like have a good filet partner than not, so I'll just deal. 
I definitely didn't want to get married. Why would you ever get married? That sounds like the stupidest idea ever. This girl I dated for a number of years, she felt like I was cheating on her with climbing. I, I think I laughed. Because like, what do you say to that? And I met Chris and I was like, whoa, this is crazy. This is different. I would like to propose toast to my beautiful woman with whom I want to spend the rest of my life. Aww. And Thanks, with that, Heather Robinson, Dr. Heather Robinson, baby, Aww. will you marry me? Really? She climbed hard, she worked hard. She was kind of like the perfect woman. I think it's awesome when beautiful women do badass shit. I always love Chris, but there are moments when I'm not fully in love with Chris. It's natural, right, to go through these like stages. I definitely go through that with China Doll. We have this like love-hate relationship. There's one of the bolts. There's the other. Yay. We can't do any of our mini goals that we wanted to accomplish. And Heather wanted to do a big link while placing gear on top rope. Another day in the prize. <laughs> Chris is definitely a bit of a mentor. He's a lot more experienced than I am. He's been climbing for many, many more years than I have. He's certainly not chauvinistic. He's not like the kind that's like, I'm so badass, like let me just show you how to do everything. If that gear rips, you will die. <laughs> that's why it's important to get good gear there. You should really check all your cam. Only two of the three lobes are working and when it's this small, two out of three ain't good enough. Oh, see, this one's kind of fucked, too. You are a bad person, Heather. <laughs> you can't show up for your 514 Proj with <laughs> shitty cams. <laughs> Jeez. I don't really know what I'm doing. Not a very healthy attitude. <laughs> so I'm gonna just pretend like our conversation never happened about the cams not really working properly. <laughs> wow. I could have easily been like stubborn and been like, I don't need your help, I got it, I'll figure it out on my own. She's trying to rush the process. I think she should just focus solely on getting the gear completely dialed so that the next day we come, she can combine the two. It's intimidating putting your life on the line on gear that you place yourself. How do you feel about your very first time leading the route? Yeah, pretty good. I, we'll see you here in a minute. Well, I'll be with you every second of the way, lovey. Thank you. I'll keep you safe, I promise. So you had two gear ripping falls. Yeah, it was terrifying. It's like fucked up. Yeah. Did it hurt? Yeah, mostly when the gear, when the piece ripped, it smacked my knuckle really good. That was like, God, stressful. If I am trying my absolute hardest at something and just hitting a wall, I get really down on myself. 
I've done these moves so many times, but I'm still falling at certain spots. One of the things actually that attracted me to Heather was that she is as obsessed with climbing as I am. And I'm not just talking about into climbing, obsessed with a route to the point where it becomes kind of all you really focus on and think about until you do it. I got really weak in the past 90 days. I totally suck, I'm a shitty rock climber. Today was like big time negative progress and I have a really hard time with that. It felt like I was just working on that first crux for the first time, like last year. I told Chris my goal was to not hate myself. <laughs> it's like a really terrible place where I'm just never good enough and I don't know why anybody would ever want to associate with me? Why would anyone want to love me? Like, I'm not good enough for any of that. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm a guy and I haven't learned yet, but reasoning with a chick who's in a dark place doesn't ever work. This is like 40-something try. I don't know how many days. I've lost count, but it's okay. I basically live here now. Heather is willing to throw it all out there and say, this is my project. This is how much I suck at it right now, but I'm going to do it. If I get something in my head, I'm going to try my very hardest to accomplish whatever I want to. As I get closer to sending it, it does become kind of a bigger deal to me because I know this is possible, now I just actually have to do it.
taking like a year of my life in 70 tries, it's not like, wow, I'm so badass. It's kind of like, I'm a crazy person. She told me, this is probably the zenith of my climbing career. And I was shocked. I was like, are you kidding me? I feel like you're just getting going. Climbing China Doll didn't just magically make me confident. She's understanding that confidence does not come from sending a route. It comes from the process, the people she climbs with, the relationship that she and I have. To feel like you are good enough in your own skin is something that I wish for every person. I just wonder, like, why can't I feel that way about myself? Why can't I see what other people see in me? So much potential and so much confidence and so much success. Why can't I see that? That's certainly harder for me than clipping the chains on China Doll.